I'm Naomi Harris, and I'm pleased to welcome you to BOSS, whether you're here in the room with me or participating online. Uh, if this is your very first BOSS, raise your hand. I want to give a special warm welcome Woo! to those of you here. Thanks. Um, BOSS was launched in 2000 and has been held annually ever since. So this is the 23rd annual BOSS. And our parent organization is the Open Bioinformatics Foundation. And Chris Fields is going to tell you about that as soon as I'm done. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about CoFest, which follows BOSC. Um, we started out with the OS standing for open source, but we've extended to cover open science, open data, and uh, all sorts of things. So last year, we uh, had BOSC 2021 online. This is a screenshot from our closing online party from that. And this year is the first hybrid event, but I think it probably won't be the last. This is kind of the way of the future. So uh, thank you for being here during this um, transitional year. Uh, I want to thank the many people who BOSC uh, wouldn't be possible without, including ISMB and particularly Stephen Leard, who has been such a help with getting all the technical uh, stuff going our organizing committee and review committee, who I'll introduce in a minute, our sponsors and presenters and participants, we couldn't do it without all of you. So the organizing committee, I've chaired uh, BOSC for a number of years now. Um, Kirsten Ohan has also been on the committee for quite a while. He's unfortunately not here in person. Hervé Ménager has been involved in BOSC for many years. This is his first year on the organizing committee. Uh, Monica Munoz Torres, has been on the organizing committee several years. She's here in the room, and I'm happy to welcome you warmly in Spanish for English. Deepak Kumi uh, was not able to attend. Uh, Nicole Vasilevsky is right here. And last, but definitely not least, Jason Williams, who you'll be seeing more of very shortly. I also want to mention our guest session chairs, Chris Fields and Taz Lee. The review committee reviewed all the abstracts and gave lots of constructive feedback. We also share our review process uh, openly on GitHub. And I want to give a big thanks to our sponsors who helped to underwrite some of our costs of running this meeting. We have platinum sponsors, AWS and Chad Zuckerberg Initiative, gold sponsors, uh, new this year, the NIH Office of Data Science Strategy and the Broad Institute and Silver Sponsors are Bedos and Data Science. Um, you'll hear more uh, from our sponsors you know, after me and Chris. Uh, our sponsorships help us support some of our diversity and inclusion efforts, such as granting free registration to some people who otherwise would not be able to attend a meeting. This year we gave 15 presenters for your registration. 14 of these are from groups that are underrepresented in our field. And as another example of what our sponsorships enable, in 2021, we had, as far as we know, the first keynote talk at ISMB in a language other than English. It was delivered in French by a speaker from Cameroon, and we had professional subtitles of it. Um, as an example of who's been supported by these sponsorships, we have uh, David, who is a PhD student in South Africa. He got an event scholarship to attend uh, ISMB online and present his work. And he was such an enthusiastic participant that he became part of the review committee this year. Um, I won't read all of his quotes, but there's a blog post by him um, talking about uh, how much he got out of Boston 2021. Um, I'm going to just very briefly go through our sessions to, to give you the, the lay of the land for meeting. Uh, right after this, we'll have our first keynote, Jason Williams, which is a joint keynote with the Education COSI. Um, we have another keynote later uh, tomorrow by Melissa Handel, which is joint with the Bioontology COSI. We also wrap up tomorrow with a panel about building and sustaining inclusive open science communities. I'm pretty excited for this, so don't miss that. Uh, I think it may not appear in the Juno schedule, but it's on our website. So we are now in this first session, and then we have Jason. We have immediately after that our first session on inclusion and open science. 
then we have two hours where there's lunch and this is the only poster session. So please make time to go downstairs and look at the posters. And if you want to organize an informal uh, boff during that time, I'll just talk more about those in a minute. Uh, after lunch, we have a session on analysis tools and approaches that starts at 2.30, so be sure you're back for that. Then we have sessions 3A and 3B in the afternoon, followed by, uh, there's an optional pay your own way boss dinner. This is already full, but um, there's a wait list. Um, and look in our Slack if you don't know where to find that, sign up. So birds of a feather are self-organized discussion groups around a topic of interest. There's official ISMB Birds of the Feather this evening at 6.15, listed on the ISMB program. There's one by our sponsor, AWS, about cloud computing and bioinformatics. Um, but we also encourage you, if you um, want to just chat with people to organize your own Birds of a Feather during the lunch and poster time, feel free to use this room, grab a corner, and uh, this can be a really productive part of the conference. So day two starts with ISMB talk. Then we have our popular session on workflow management systems. And then after lunch tomorrow, our joint session with bioontologies, including Lisa's keynote and some talks chosen from abstracts submitted to both of the, the COSIs. And then finally, we have our panel tomorrow at uh, 3.45, followed by very brief closing remarks. So I mentioned the CoFest, uh, it's short for Collaboration Fest, and this is a free collaborative work event, but it's not just coding, but other things that support it, like testing and documenting. And this started in 2010, it's held usually after BOSC. This year, it will be July 15th and 16th. It will be a hybrid event. Those who are staying here will be able to meet in the Madison Public Library, uh, which is letting us use a room, uh, and other people will be participating online. And you can find more about this on our website. At the bottom of each page on our website, there are ways to stay in touch with us. There's a link for joining our Slack workspace. You can find our past boss talks and you can follow us on Twitter. And remember to use the hashtag BOSC2022, not just BOSC22, because we number from zero and this is the 23rd end of BOSC. So that's all I have for now. And uh, I hope that you enjoy BOSC. And I'm going to hand this over next to Chris Fields, who is going to talk about the Open Bioinformatics Foundation. Thank you.